everybody, it's Doll Trick, and on today's episode of Push Play, which is a part of my daily series, A Trick A Day, we're going to take a look at programming a basic breakbeat on Push. So let's get started. Over here, I've got a drum kit pulled up. It's an 808 core kit, so let's listen to some of the sounds. Cool. And I think I just like to get started by creating first some kind of loop that I can then put sounds into. So the easiest way to do this is if you are having a drum rack pulled up already, you can press on this top left pad of the bottom right quadrant on, on push. So this button right over here, let's press it. And now we can see that up here in the push LED display, we see a clip. That's also because I should say we are in clip view on push. Sometimes you can be in device view, which might show you some other things like the device controls of the kit, but we want to be in clip view so that we can see where we are in the loop. Now we can go and start selecting sounds that maybe we want to sequence in into the step sequencer section over here on push. You see the little green light traveling across and it's going across in 16th notes. So that's a really great guide for us. So we've got this one bar loop going in 16th notes in the step sequencer. Let's put in some kicks first. So usually a lot of break beats tend to have a kick drum that is not always on each beat of the bar. So it's not something like a four on the floor. That's going to be really regular. That's not really typical breakbeat style. So we're going to remove these kicks that used to be on each beat to instead maybe think of kicks that are in between beats. So let's put them, let's put one kick here. We've got one at the start, of course, to indicate the beginning of the bar. Let's put one more here. Great. So now let's add on some claps. Let's find or a snare. Let's do a clap. So usually we have claps on the back beat. So that means beats two and four. So let's find the second beat and the fourth beat. Nice. Now, sometimes we might also add maybe some hi-hats that are happening more frequently, maybe uh, on eighth notes in this case. So we'll have them appear on every other pad. Cool. Let's take a pause there. And that's how you would program a basic breakbeat. And that's the trick for today. Breakbeats are usually a little common in hip hop and also in genres like drum and bass or garage. Um, that could be a good start for you. And if you enjoyed this trick, please like, comment, share, subscribe. And you can also turn on the notification bell to be notified of whenever I have a new trick out to share with all of you. Thanks so much to everyone who's been tuning in. And I hope to see you at the next video. Until next time, see you then. Bye. Bell trick.